speaks to a number of things. One, uh, his incredible preparation. You can't get to the level that he has unless you prepare yourself. Make no mistake about it, he prepares himself for every practice, uh, for every game in a manner that is so professional that he has now put himself in the elite category. You can't do what he's done unless you prepare yourself. I think secondly, he exhibits a love for the game like nobody. What was that? My dad always taught me to find something you love and do it. You know, it's really the ultimate team sport, so you yeah, just kind of a passion for the game. And I think that's important too because you can, you know, go out there and play well in the game or play in games and stuff, but uh, it really takes a, another level to come out every day of practice and you really enjoy what you're doing. Coming up shortly, Notre Dame and Stanford on a beautiful night for football in Northern California. It's interesting, he came back for his senior year, not because he wanted to improve his draft status, but which he has, coincidentally, but because he wanted to play with his brother. And so he also understands the element that the game has to have fun to it. Because if it's not fun and you don't enjoy the game, you can't play that many games in a row because it becomes a job and it's not fun anymore. And so it's easy to beg out of a game because, ah, you know, it's too hard for me. He has fun playing this game. Hey. Out of way, out of way. You just gotta have fun with it, you know. I've, I've, these have been the best five years of my life and I'm going to work every day with my favorite people in the world, you know, outside my family. So it's a blessing to go out there and go, you know, play a game with your best friend. So it doesn't last forever, so you gotta, you gotta, you gotta cherish these moments and, and really take advantage of it because it, it, it goes by fast. You know, Coach Heastan always talks and uh, we talk about pride. It's a personal pride and I think that's just something that my, my parents, my dad, who's you know, played the game and, and been successful in, in what he does and, you know, it's a personal pride that you're not gonna you're not gonna be the guy that lets everyone down on the field. You're not gonna be the guy who lets uh, everyone down. So, I think the biggest thing for me is is my personal pride that I'm gonna go out there and and do my job on every snap and um, do it to the best of my ability. And it will be first and ten, Notre Dame. Yeah, I mean the first series is always a little you know a little jitters. Just it's the first snap. I mean after you get the first snap out of the way, uh, you settle down. But you know I've started you know 50 games and I still get butterflies before every every uh, first snap. As they set up in a spread formation, two receivers to either side, five offensive blockers. Reese standing at his 26-yard line on first and 10 from the 32. Here's the snap. 